All right, welcome to yet another amazing video. We are talking about the latest CRROID 8.7 update for the B11X, also known as the POCO F3 and the Redmi K40. Now, I've been using this in the last three to four days. I've been gaming on it, using all the features available with this ROM, customizing the stuff that is available in there, and it has been a pleasant experience. So I thought I should share a complete review with you guys. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, now, first things first, let's see what we have here. We have CR Droid 8.7 official ROM. This is, of course, based on Android 12.1, and this is updated on the 28th of July, 2022. So that's a recent update. This is a vanilla build, which means you will have to flash G apps separately. There is a recommended TWRP by SKK, which is the latest version, which is what I have used. Basic G apps are recommended, and the firmware recommended here is Global or EU 13.0.3. The link for the same is mentioned over here as well. Now, if we talk about the change log over here, most of the time these ROMs do have an extensive, you know, change log, and a clean flash is mandatory, is what they're saying. Now, as you can see, as far as this particular update is concerned, hotfix Moto Dolby not showing in settings, synced with latest sources, updated translations, some other fixes and improvements. So pretty much it's a more streamlining update than a major, major update, like a version change and stuff like that. But that's not going to stop us from using a wonderful ROM like this. Now in typical fashion, the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will notice that this is the extremely devoted AOSP ROM with a lot of customization options, better performance and better features than MIUI or any other MIUI based custom ROM. Now, if we talk about the Google feed, as always, it is butter smooth, works like a charm no problems whatsoever i'm always running in 120 hertz mode and we've started using accubattery for charging and battery backup so across different videos and different devices you will start getting a better view of what the battery life on a particular rom is so this device unfortunately doesn't ship with miui camera it comes with a very very basic camera application for cr droid 8.7 it would have been good to see miui camera that is anx camera pre-installed but that's okay right now, if you go to the quick settings, you will see that you do have a ton of quick tiles over here. If you go to the edit menu, you will notice that you do have a lot of options over here, like FPS info, on the go, CPU info, smart pixels. A lot of these features are something that I've used in my day-to-day -day usage, and some of them are something that I've not used. But yes, it doesn't fail to surprise me even now. As you can see, the FPS meter is working fine. I don't know what the on-the-go mode is, but just disabled it. I'm using Caffeine right now to shoot this video. Over here, you do get the data usage at the bottom. And as you can see, there are three slabs because I've activated a lot of quick tiles over here. Now, at the top over here, you do get, you know, your data indicator, like what is the upload and download speed. You do get very, very stylish Wi-Fi signal and battery icons, which you can choose from settings. So that is another neat thing. And apart from this, the launcher itself is very, very basic and very, very simple. So if you press and hold over here, you will get options like settings, which takes you to the settings of CR Droid Launcher. And you do have some customization options over here. Not really a lot of customization options like the launcher, launcher and stuff, but it gets the job done. Because you do have icons, home screen, app drawer, recents and miscellaneous, which you can customize. And that's a pretty good deal. Now, apart from this, you do have your standard widgets, which are available from 12.1. They work absolutely fine. I've not had any issues at all. So that's another neat thing. And last but not the least, if you talk about wallpaper and style, you do get the dark theme option over here and you do get themed icons beta, which are working like a charm. If you go to the change wallpaper, it does give you a bunch of wallpapers which are pre-installed on the device. It doesn't really give you a lot of options. Monet UI, of course, is present and works like a charm, including themed icons, which is always a good thing. Now that takes us to settings. And if you go to settings, you will see that in the Android version mode, you have CR Droid 8.7. This is a B11X. So this update is compatible with Elliot and Elliot in the Indian version and the global version. And the security patch that you get over here is the July security patch. We are moving towards August. Soon we will have August security patches from Google and later in custom ROMs as well. Now let's talk about the standard stuff. Now it's been a lot of times that I've discussed CR Droid on this particular channel and everybody sort of knows that if you go to CR Droid settings, 
the amount of customization that you get is endless. It's, it's really a lot of customization options. Give thumbs up to this video and let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a dedicated video on customization as to what is done by each and every customization setting. For now, let's see here. You have status bar customization, quick settings, lock screen, navigation, buttons, user interface, notifications, sound, miscellaneous, and about CR Droid. So I'm not really going to, you know, dive into all these settings individually because that will make the video unnecessarily long. But I will tell you there are quite a lot of interesting highlights like this game space. It does give you more control over your gaming experience, including giving you a performance mode option over here. And there is a angle experimental graphics api i used it once had some issues with apex legends so i switched back to performance you do have the option of unlock higher fps in games i know vgmi is banned can't do much right but for our global users pubg mobile is still there so you can get 90 fps although when you select this option of unlock higher fps in games you don't really get higher fps or any more unlocks in apex legends or call of duty mobile i have tested both of them you do get Google unlimited storage, swipe to screenshot with extended screenshot, a ton of gesture options over here, sound customization, vibration customization. So as I said, you know, CR Droid has been a heaven for customization. You know, kings, people who like to customize their device in their own way. And there are a ton of options, including this ambient display customization. You do have edge lighting, music tickers, always show time and info. So all these features are present and they work smooth. So I've not had any force reboots or auto reboots or force close errors or anything of that sort. No extensive battery drain. Now let's quickly go to Accu battery over here. Now as you can see, screen on, it's around 6 to 7% an hour. So it's easily giving me 6 to 7 hours of screen on time. Probably a little more, probably a little less, depending on the use case. But performance mode, majority of the time when I'm doing mixed usage on the Mi 11X, like a couple of hours of gaming, maybe one and a half hour of gaming, browsing, watching YouTube and stuff like that, it's doing a splendid job. Now, as far as safety net is concerned, it is passing just fine. You do get Google Play Store certification, so you will not have any issues with, you know, using banking applications or anything of that sort. Wide when L1 certification is present, so your Amazon Prime and Netflix will work fine in HD, so you won't have any issues there. But yes, as far as the camera situation goes, you will have to go ahead and install Gcam or probably a version of ANX camera that works best for you in order to give you a better experience. Now, apart from this, my charging speeds have been splendid on this particular ROM. If you go to the charging tab, as you can see, I don't really have that record over here because I installed this app late. But yes, it gives me around 28 to 30 watts of charging. It takes around 20 to 100% 58 to 59 minutes so a full charge should be one hour five minutes to one hour 15 minutes that's pretty decent that's something very close that's what you get to stop now using this phone as a daily driver you will be making a lot of calls using wi-fi and using mobile data along with text messages now i'm happy to report that i've not had any issues as far as all of these are concerned the calling is fine the signal reception is okay but what about performance and gaming because those are very very critical features for 11x and poco f3 owners right now if we talk about android to benchmark as far as benchmarks is concerned we do get a splendid 714,293 worth of score now the temperature of the device did increase by six degrees and the battery percentage dropped by five percent so that's pretty standard now if we talk about geekbench over here we do get very striking results in Geekbench as well. 980 single core, 3241 multi core. So that's very, very close to stock MIUI. And I did play one match of Apex Legends and one uh, multiplayer match in Call of Duty Mobile, which you will see right now. I will show you the settings and then the gameplay with FPS and temperatures. Watch that before we conclude the video. That killed the beast, but mostly, you know, it's the violent combat. Grappling. Scanning for the next ring. Use your map to guide you. Looking for this. 
Yeah, getting shot at. Oh, killed. I took care of it. Don't worry. Recharging shield. Marking our surroundings. Firing. More friends are coming to kill us. There's another squad. My ultimate is ready. The hunt begins. I am repairing myself. Contact with target. Target's right in front of me. Firing. I killed an enemy. Extended heavy mag here. I got a bad guy. Warning. Ring movement in progress. I killed an enemy. Already in the next ring, I smell victory. Setting up a zip line. Might be something good this way. Care package being delivered. Contact. Prowler SMG here. I bet that care package has some sweet gear for us. In combat. Oh. down. Hey, lucky us. We're with the new kill leader. Watch out for the new kill leader, friend. Hold your applause. I'm the new kill leader. Okay. Healing my wounds. All Father, give me sight. It's Dukes o'clock. Making contact here. Reloading. Don't worry. The enemies are shooting at me. Oh no, there's another. Using the decoy escape. Shot fired and they're hitting me. Downed an enemy. Go bamboozle. Reloading. Killed an enemy. We killed the last member. Good work, team. Shots fired, and they're hitting me. Give him my shield to recharge. You got bamboozled. Stock here. Level three. Now what you did see was Apex Legends. Well, I'm happy to report that in about you know 20 to 29 degrees of ambient room temperature, the performance was pretty insane. The battery backup was pretty decent, and the game space in there is doing a decent job as well. So all in all, if we talk about the latest CR Droid update for the Mi 11X, it's doing a splendid job as far as the daily driver and all-rounder is concerned. I've not had any major issues with this update. You can use banking applications and you know content consumption is a breeze because of this wonderful display. There are no major downsides to this particular ROM. If there are any, you can let me know in the comment section. CR Droid 8.7 gets a thumbs up from us and you should try it as well. Until the next one, this is Kalash. Signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.